Hey, I'm Beto Davila de Leon, Environmental Justice Coordinator at Southwest Workers Union. And this week we've been doing some deeper conversations around the climate action and adaptation plan with our youth leadership group. Um, we started off with the toxic tour, checking out different sites in our neighborhoods and seeing how um, close the impacts of, of dirty energy use and city planning have impacted our neighborhoods, our families. And, um, you know, the youth are really coming up with ideas and conversations around what they want to see for their future. Right now we have an opportunity to really make sure that the climate action and adaptation plan is equitable for all parts of San Antonio. And the youth here see it and they want that too. Um, so we want to go deeper with these conversations. The youth want to contact their representatives and continue those dialogues to make sure that any, any work about us represents us completely. Hi, I'm Giselle Gonzalez and my statement is that with the rate of global warming which is progressing, it is important to take into account that the rising sea levels are due to the melting ice caps and it's predicted by the year 2100, sea levels could rise from 10 to 23 inches which is not healthy for our environment. Hi, my name is Trinity Schuler. I'm from the Youth Leadership Organization at the Southwest Workers Union. And I believe that clean air, water, and soil are extremely important because they are ultimately what supports us as humans, and not only us as humans, but the plants and the animals too. We need to start cleaning immediately because it takes a lot longer to clean up the pollution than it does to create it. And not only is the pollution centered around cities, but it's all over the world. We should keep our living area clean because it's where we live and we have to take care of we have to take care of it right now uh right now a lot of people are getting sick because there is a lot of pollution in the air and and it's making people sick a lot of people cannot breathe correctly because all of that po polluted air is going is going into their lungs that's why you need to have a climate action plan so you can change things around hello my name is Susie and I'm going to be reading to you my little note I had wrote right now about pollution Pollution is bad for people and animals that live around the area. It is bad that people ha and animals have to go through that. They have to get viruses that can kill them and so people can have more money. And so we have to clean that up ASAP. My name is Angel Garcia Lopez and uh, I wrote this to inspire people to help our world and live better. So uh, we need to take care of our earth so we don't suffocate our lungs. We will not allow people to murder us slowly so they get money. Whatever we dump into the water, it gets filtered, but chemicals stay and get bottled up. Then we drink it and get sick and we die slowly, or in other words, fade away. We must clean up the mess we made because Mother Nature will not be here to clean it up for us. Mother Nature gives us what we need to survive and now we have to do the same to her by cleaning up her home. Hi, my name is Elena and I think we should have a climate action because um, the way we get energy right now, it's really temporary and it will run out at a certain point of our lives and the only thing we're achieving right now is contaminating the earth at, 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 at an increasing rate and I and I think we should change that to cleaner energy because our generations, next generations, are not going to be able to see the things that we're able to see, like snow and clean water. So I think we should change our, uh, our way to get energy to a cleaner one. Yeah, thank you. Hello, my name is in, um, Matthew Quinones, and I'm here in part of YLO, or Southwest Workers Union. And um, climate change is happening where it's real. Some people, even the president, don't think it's happening even though there's clear proof or there's evidence that it's happening. So for example, 
I live here in San Antonio and from what I heard yesterday they deemed the air not safe and I have some family members that are close to me or my dad especially that he has lung he, or he has pneumonia which is lung sickness sickness in the lungs so it really pains me to see how the city isn't doing anything about it and the water is getting contaminated the it's just basically the resources are are messing up the world i guess all right so the earth is a gift given to us so it's our right to take care of it so adding smoke into the air polluting isn't doing that imagine someone walking up in your house smoking a cigarette every day you smoke all in the air what's gonna happen to your kids what's gonna happen to you that's what's happening to us outside. That's what's happening to our world. It's hot and it doesn't feel good. It's like, who turned off the AC? I think one of the things that concerns me the most is how overpopulated our area is and how much it changed or increased our illnesses, like in asthma and cancer, which has led to even more deaths over the years. So over the years, our population will eventually go down and the population of trash will increase and that will increase. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was doing a countdown! <laughs>